flag of Israel everywhere and all these abandoned buildings. Yeah, that's very surreal. You okay? You okay? But you uh, excuse me, uh, excuse uh, me. You are not okay. The man in Israel here. Good morning, guys, from Bethlehem. We just woke up and uh, get in our shawarma, so we're gonna be not hungry for the road because we're gonna try to go to the most troubled city in the whole West Bank and it's Hebron. So this is the place we're getting shawarma, very friendly people and the shawarma is huge. It's uh, 12 shekels, so it's like four, yeah, four dollars and it's, it's really huge. Bye bye. And when I say troubled city, I really mean it because it's really very complicated, you know, compared, even compared to Jerusalem, which I found very complicated city, but Hebron is even more. And the reason for that is that there are settlements in Hebron, Israeli settlements, in the city center itself. So it's like the whole city is kind of like Arab populated, and then there are like some, some small like neighborhoods inside the city, like enclaves, you know, there are lots of walls, lots of checkpoints, and uh, yeah, and today we're gonna go there and to, to, to see it with our own eyes, how complicated one city can be. And it's pretty easy to get to Hebron from Bethlehem. Uh, we just need to get like a shared uh, taxi, like a minivan. And uh, now we're waiting for one because the traffic seems to be uh, yeah, pretty bad. I know you probably don't care about the history that much, but it would make sense to make this video without like a very brief history lesson about Hebron. In short, I think both Jews and uh, Arabs lived in this area for like for a long time, like since biblical time. In the middle of 19th century, Hebron was mostly Islamic and there were just a few uh, small Jewish communities. Then the Zionist movement took place and the number of Jewish communities increased. But in 1929, uh, there was a very huge massacre uh, from, from Arab population towards Jewish and uh, all Jewish communities basically left. And then in 1967, after the Six Days War, Israeli uh, took control over Hebron. And given its very religious symbolism, uh, so the Israeli government started to build settlements within the city center itself. Like, can you imagine, just like within the old city, they started to be like very small like Jewish neighborhoods. And over the course of 50 years, they built these settlements and the city became more and more divided. So now it's a very extremely divided city. And as for now, 80% of the whole city controlled by Palestinians and 20% uh, by Israelis. And that's it. That's a very brief uh, history overview. I mean, it's, it's, it's much more, it's much more. And uh, I try to squeeze it like as much as possible because it's YouTube. Uh, so, but yeah, today, today we're trying to go and trying to catch one of these buses and it's very hard because they're all full. Okay, let's ask this one. Hello, Hebron? Okay, shukran. All right, wow, one hour later, we arrived. I will visit in Islam when you will clean from right hand. Oh, from right left. hand. Yes. Okay, thank you, shukran. I didn't know that. Okay. Right hand. Right hand. Okay. Our Prophet Muhammad teach yes. us. Yes. Uh, right for eating. Okay, okay. Left for uh, 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 watching body and yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Good, shukran, yes. Before war in Ukraine, yes. I, uh, I expect uh, to, to Russian attack Ukraine. The world become uh, hungry. Yes, hunger. hungry. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Uh, because the price is high. I uh, ask God, Allah, to make peace in all over the world. Yes, yes. Because I uh, our religion, Islam, order us to to call uh, to call Allah to make a peace. Our religion, Islam, order us, order me to respect all people in all over the world and mm. respect all you both. Yes. Yes. Foreign want to other respect us. You okay? You okay? Uh, but you uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse okay. me. You are not okay. 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 Uh, if you take my advice, I tell you thank you. Okay. Okay. You I'll, can. I'll you, uh, yes. For, uh, the, the the man, but the woman is complete. The yes. man in Israel here. My name is Muhammad Yajab. I have you to to visit me in, in my home. Uh, my job is mortuary. You understand what mortuary? No. Mortuary man! 
in hospital ah. and washing uh, and uh, buried him. Yeah, okay. Yes, it's my job. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's a clever. Mm. I am undertaker. <laughs> okay. 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 Wow, the first five minutes in Hebron and I was advised that I need to buy some pants. <laughs> but for you, he said it's okay because you're in the long shorts, yeah, right? Yeah. And I'm like in a <laughs> in a sports shirt. Maybe I can like put him down like uh, yeah. like a rapper. You know? It's very busy here in the city center of Hebron. Uh, yeah, lots of shops, lots of food places, uh, vendors, and uh, yeah, as, as as in every big city here. So far, I haven't seen neither a foreigner nor a person in shorts. So it's interesting place. Yeah, the city is huge. It's very chaotic. Lots of hills and. Apparently it's the biggest city in West Bank. Like I thought we were in the city center, but we're not. <laughs> we're only approaching the city center. And we're trying to follow these signs that uh, yeah that say that the mosque is this direction. So how are you? Oh, how are you? Hello, honey. I hope you are. Hello, hello. Hello. hello, salam. Everyone considers it as their duty to you know to greet us and ask how's it going. Hello, salam, salam. <laughs> hello, hello. And thanks God there are those signs because otherwise we'll be lost. Uh, so the internet here, like the mobile data, it doesn't really work well. I don't know, maybe hello. we bought... Hello! <laughs> maybe we bought some uh, wrong SIM cards, I don't know, or maybe just the covering here is pretty bad, but uh, yeah, it just doesn't really work. I think it's kind of like a little bit like a protest, you know? Yeah. Like, okay, we, like we're just gonna build settlements in the city. Yeah, we asked this boy where is the mosque and uh, he's kind enough to, to show it to us so we don't get lost. Are you interested to see the situation in Hebron? Because uh -huh. we offering to you if you want to see the tomb of the Batria. The yes, we'll think about it. Okay, okay, thank no you. No problem. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, he, that's why he asked me because he helped you and he showed you this area. If you want to give him some, some tip or donation, tip, he asked me to tell you to explain because he didn't speak in English. Oh, okay. So. Because he was helped you, he asked me if you want to help him for some. Okay, shukran. What? And you are doing something here. Yes, here. yes. Okay, cool. Because yeah. this is two shorts. Yes. This is one. They gave us basically skirts, <laughs> right? <laughs> is it skirt? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you cannot wear shorts, but you can wear skirts. Wow, so it's like a huge, huge uh, territory and people uh, praying and yeah, sitting, sitting on these uh, nice carpets. Yeah, very, very nice mosque. Okay, here everyone wants to sell you like a tour uh, and they're like pretty consistent because uh, they're so like pushy, it, like it, it doesn't feel a right thing to do. Like it's, lots of people talk have, to us, so no worries, we just want time, to go here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no problem, okay. Shukran. Of course everybody like trying to make a living, but if people don't want it, people don't want it, that's it. Okay, we're asked again. <laughs> the countries of origins and uh, religion, but people are generally very nice, yeah? Okay. yeah. Very polite. And now we're entering uh, the synagogue, so it's the Jewish part of this building that we've been before. Wow, so there are lots of books here and people read books very intensively and pray. And it's a little bit different atmosphere than in the, than in the mosque. But we can't find this, uh, this Abraham tomb. Okay, so this is the Abraham tomb. And you can see this bulletproof glass that separates two sections because uh, this place is very holy for both uh, for Muslims and for uh, Jewish people. And apparently the glass is located there because through the glass you can see the windows of the mosque because it's kind of the same building and uh, there was like a, I, I think from what I read there was like a attack and uh, lots of Jewish were killed because one guy from like from the mosque came like with a with a machine gun basically and uh, that's why they put this uh, bulletproof glass. Wow, mission completed <laughs> because like 
when you go first to the mosque, I think it's you, you can walk from the mosque to synagogue, but it's not that easy. You have to go around and get through the checkpoints, and it's like it's very complicated. Yeah, so it makes sense to hire a tour guide, I think. But if they would not be so annoying, you know. Now once the first mission is completed, we have to accomplish the second one. Okay, so as you can see, this whole part of the town is totally abandoned. All the shops are closed and apparently it was before like a market area. And I actually don't know why they do like why they did it, but from what I read, I think uh, they wanted to create like a kind of a buffer zone. Uh, between like the Arab populated areas and the uh, Jewish populated areas between these settlements So that's why like they made like this zone really uninhabitable by by people at all It's like everything's closed like you walk like in a ghost town Crazy right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here like the more we go to the settlements uh, you see like some yeah buses are going around and Basically we're gonna just end up in the like Israeli territory Flag of Israel everywhere and all these abandoned buildings. Yeah, that's very surreal. Look. It's like in some you know apocalyptic game, right? Everything is abandoned, just military checkpoints and flags. I thought there's gonna be at least some shops here, right? <laughs> I don't understand. Nothing. Like we're walking and walking and I think these buildings are not abandoned, right? Mm -hmm. They're just like not that densely populated, I think. Like it doesn't seem that lots of life going on here. You can see like those checkpoints everywhere. You're uh, Amriki. Oh, no, America, no, no, no. Oh. Oh. Ukraine, Italy, yes. Okay, oh. 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 Here, okay, okay. okay. 